Hey, 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 good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Coffee with Dave. In fact, I got my coffee right here. I hope everybody's enjoying their coffee this morning. We are back in Florida, if you can't tell. It's beautiful uh, blue skies behind me. Uh, and I am just chilling out this morning. Honestly, uh, about 15 hours of driving over the last two days, uh, trying to work up our, our new uh, streaming software for our, our on-the-road show. I mean... I don't know if you guys, if, maybe I'll show you here in a minute, but the technology that we are bringing into this show is getting better, bigger and better, and the settings are getting worked out, but having a lot of fun doing it. I have to tell you, it is a lot of fun. I'm like a kid with a bunch of new toys doing all the things that we do, so I don't have any mics hooked up. I'm just coming straight to you live from my phone, which everybody should really understand that your phone is one of the best tools we have in our tool bag for increasing influence and telling your story or telling somebody else's story. It's just the way it goes. So with that said, Dave Cooper Live, we are bringing you the people and the processes that are doing it better. As everybody knows, our guests include uh, building systems, building signs, building codes. All of our guests are doing it better, doing it bigger, and uh, we're taking the show on the road. And yes, I am just free, what do they call it? Freewheeling it this morning. And that's what I love about Saturdays because there's no, there's no real topic. There's no real agenda other than to talk about the topics and agendas of the weeks uh, previous and the uh, weeks coming up. So with that said, I see a couple comments already. So let's just say hello, hello, hello. So we have a good morning. Oh, man, who is that LinkedIn user? I think I know who that is. Ashley Bolkart. What's up, Ashley? You got to change your settings, man. You're not popping up on my stream. You're not popping up. Uh, good morning from the Windy City, Chai Town. Hey, listen, I wonder, is that big storm that's coming through the central uh, coast coming up to you guys as well? I wonder if that's actually going to hit you guys in Chai Town. Hey, good morning, Peter Molinar. How are you today, my friend? I hope you're enjoying a nice warm cup of coffee. I'm enjoying. Look, I got a t shirt on, sitting outside, just relaxing this morning. Uh, kids are at baseball games. We're going to actually go do a little uh, ice hockey today. Little ice hockey is going to be a lot of fun. So, I love it. I love it. I love it. So good morning to you, Peter. All right, everybody. We had a great week. Sorry if this phone's shaking a little bit here. Uh, and we're going to have an even better week coming up this week. We got a lot going on. But let's talk about how we started this week. We started this week with the Pillars of Industry Awards from the National Association of Home Builders Building Systems Council. And we had several guests on with us to talk about the industry, to talk about their award, you know, talk about them, celebrate what they are doing and where they are going uh, and what do they think offsite construction is all about. So luckily enough, we had one of my favorites on, Matt Belcher, Enhanced Building Systems. Uh, why is Matt Belcher one of my favorites? Well, outside of just being in this industry uh, and, and being supportive of our industry for a long time. Matt Belcher also is a huge supporter of veterans, uh, Operation Finally Home, and now Operation Triage. I mean, gives a lot of his time. They build homes for wounded troops and their families. Uh, Operation Triage is doing, you know, similar things, but it's more than just building homes. It's also remodeling homes, not just for veterans, but also for our law enforcement, who ends up with the same PTSD as everybody uh, everybody else. I can't say that. As soldiers and what have you, they, they see things on a regular basis that most people don't say. So Matt's on the top of my list, being an ex-soldier myself, uh, I guess never an ex-soldier, but being, being 10 years in the military myself, has a special place in my heart, and I appreciate anybody that reaches out and helps a soldier. All right. We also had the new chairman of the Building Systems Council on, uh, Brian Seelaw from Tamarack Grove Engineering. Now, what's cool about Brian is, one, he's humble as can be. He really cares about the industry. His claim to fame, or one of them, I should say, was Noah's Ark. That's right. If the world is going to hell. Everybody needs to call Brian because Brian Seeloff is part of the engineering team that built that huge Noah's Ark. And uh, I think that's just super cool because that that's a that's a feat like no other just building something like that. Uh, 
you know, and hey, if it works, good for all of us, man. I'm coming, Brian. I'm bringing my kids, dogs, you name it. So keep an eye out for us. Brian Tila uh, is the chairman of the Building Systems Council at the NEHB. So we had Brian on. We were celebrating Brian as well. And then we also had Jim Banner on from Inselspan and uh, PFB uh, Homes. Now, Insel, you know, Jim Banner, they have multiple manufacturing facilities, log homes, uh, SIPs, uh, products. And they're, they've won so many wonderful awards. Uh, their homes are beautiful. Their manufacturing is top notch. And, and they believe in doing it better. They believe in sustainability. And they believe in culture. They believe in having a business that has culture for their employees. So if you're not familiar with Jim Banner and Inselspan and PFB Custom Homes, you need to check them out. If you want to learn about log homes, you want to learn about timber homes, you want to learn about SIPs, right? And, and, and building better, building greener, building energy efficient, looking forward to the future and how it is done, then you definitely want to tune into this past Monday show on our link or on our LinkedIn, on our YouTube channel. So go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber, you're wrong. You should be subscribing and helping us grow everything that we're doing. All right. So, Mr. Jim Banner, and he's just he's a he's a tall guy, man. Tall. Love watching him when he gets his awards. He just towers over everybody. He has a he has a personality to go with his his, his height as well. Huge personality, great person. All right, moving through our banner list on Wednesday, we were with Dr. Dumpster. Dr. Jeff Wilson, a.k.a. Professor Dumpster, and the CEO of Jupe.com. You guys familiar with Jupe.com? If you're not, go check it out. These are really cool shelters. I mean, super cool shelters. So, Dr. Jupe.com is, uh, I can't, I don't, I can't even tell you about Dr. Jupe <laughs> because he has so much energy, uh, super smart individual, has, uh, ha has, a history like no other with uh, Casitas uh, modulars in our industry. So he's been in the offsite industry, the modular industry. But this is a guy that literally went out, bought a dumpster, cleaned the inside of the dumpster, and then lived in it. Lived in it for inspiration on what the next thing is going to be. How do you how do you live in? I don't know what is that like eight by eight, eight by four space. Anyhow. Go check out jupe.com. You want to see some really cool flat packable. Uh, you, they're kind of like, it's kind of like glamping on a high end. Gives people dignity. Uh, they're less than $20,000. They have solar. They have power. They're going to have water. They're going to have black tanks for, for waste. Uh, and they're less than 1,000 pounds. And they can be, I think you said less than 1,000 pounds. And they can be shipped all over the world, flat packed. Not only on a boat, you could do it on a flat trailer being pulled by a, uh, you know, a 1500 Silverado, I guess, or a 2500 or a 4500. Pretty cool stuff. Check it out. That's what we did on uh, Wednesday. Dr. Jeff Wilson, a.k.a. Professor Dumpster. I call him Dr. Dumpster. I, I told him, I said, you're either one of the smartest people I know or one of the craziest people I know. But whatever you are, you're doing some great things. And I love it. So perfect, perfect, perfect. And then, all right, here we go. Thursday. This is our kickoff to what is happening. We were inside Autoval. Hello, people. Inside Autoval with Merrick Maycomer. Uh, and she's making an impact at Audible. So there's a lot of things you don't know about Audible. And we also have the CEO coming on from Audible at the end of this month, beginning of next month. But the but the thing that we learned was with Merrick, Merrick McCumber, she named Audible. She is the one that came up with the name of Audible. Now, she's been in the industry for a while. She's been in affordable housing for a while. Uh, she has worked with people from Audible and other uh, manufacturing facilities. She's full of energy. They believe in culture. Their hiring process is exactly how it needs to be. Uh, it's not just one and done. It's multiple meetings, multiple people meeting. Do you fit that culture? Hear me, people. Culture is what makes, in my opinion, successful businesses. When you have employees, partners uh, in their world, they call them, uh, oh, I forgot the name. If you're listening, tell me the name. What was it? Solutioneers. They have solutioneers. So if you're going to have employees, and I use the word employee just for general business terms. If you work in a business, 
and you call your people employees, I think that's sad. I think that's so old school. I think it's like having your, I think it's like having the CEO's office up high looking down at everybody, you know, they're, they're, they're partners, they're maybe partners, not the right word, but they're team members, they're solutioneers, they're part of the entire equation that makes things go boom, makes things go forward. And I have to say, Merrick is uh, one of these people. She's super smart. And she named, you know, Audible's name came out of a box of uh, uh, Lucky Charms. Yeah, Lucky Charms, just laying out on the table and started playing around with them. And that's how Audible, the name was born. Merrick uh, McComber, she's not on video a whole bunch. It was one of her first times. She did an absolutely amazing job, full of energy. I highly suggest you all connect with her. If you want to learn something, she's more than willing to share it. And if you want to use the name Solutionaires for your employees, she's all for that too. She even said it live on our show. So got to love it. Merrick McComber, Modular Maven, Culture Festival Specialist, and Affordable Housing Warrior, Joyful Entrepreneur. And joyful she is. So I wanted to put that up there before we go. On to the next. BS Friday. We had Hannes Blast, CEO of Rotoblast on. Specialty Building Materials Integrated Solutions for Mass Timber. Now, what does all of that mean? So who are the people that make all the plates, the screws? Who? Oh, Rotoblast. Okay. It's just not Simpson Ties. It's just not um, uh, blah, 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 my tech. It's others that are doing the same thing but doing it better. They are building sustainability into their products. They're building sustainability into their engineering and consulting for projects that they're building all over the world. In fact, they're designing buildings to be taken apart and reused down the road. And it's actually happening. They have a building that's being taken apart and shipped to South America coming up. How cool is that? And if you want to see something super cool, go to their website, check out their headquarters. BS Friday, Building Science, Mark Bare Naked Willie. We had a great conversation on this. I highly suggest you go check it out. You can watch all of these live on our YouTube channel. Dave Cooper Live, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. All right, drum roll. Next week, what do we have next week? What do we have next week? Ah, more good stuff. Quite honestly, more good stuff. I need some of my coffee. Look, I got USA Network's cup here. They sent. Not sure why yet, but we're working on that. All right, moving on up the road. So on Monday, we are going to have on Uncommon Construction. Are you guys familiar with Uncommon Construction? If not, Aaron Fruman, Developing the Workforce and Building Character in Louisiana. In Louisiana. And we're going there. Now, here is somebody. Sorry, I'm going to take a laid back approach on this one. Here is somebody that has decided to dedicate their lives to helping the youth become trades in, in areas where they wouldn't have the same opportunity. So we're in Louisiana, uh, and I think it's super, super cool that, you know, Aaron has taken this on, and they're building houses. So they are taking and rebuilding homes in Louisiana. He's using these young students or, you know, kids that maybe wouldn't have the opportunity to do it to build these homes. And not only are they building the homes and they're selling the homes. And guess what? The building and the selling pays for the education of the students. It's cyclical. How cool is that? They're providing housing, they're providing education, and they're covering their costs all at the same time by doing it. So Aaron Fruman is on Monday. If you want to meet students, you're a builder, you're a manufacturer, you're looking for highly motivated individuals to come work with you, they're getting trained. And Aaron Fruman is doing it. So I highly suggest that uh, you tune in Monday and learn more about what we have coming up for sure. All right, Tuesday Building Modular with Jennifer. As always, we're gonna be discussing Building Modular and all the ins and outs to it and what's happening with Building Modular. Uh, so we're gonna continue that conversation. As always, Jennifer brings a lot of wisdom, a different outlook to our industry. Like I said, I've been in it for 20 years. Jennifer's been in it for you know almost as long as I have been in it. Uh, but the reality of it is, she has a big mind on, on where it should be, where it's headed, and how to make changes in our industry. And so it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun working with people uh, that are trying to build modular and helping them. So if you need our help, uh, Jennifer is the go-to person when it comes to those things. But 
Uh, she comes up with the show ideas, the show topics, and does a lot of that uh, stuff behind the scenes. It's really Jennifer's show, and uh, it's a great show. So Tuesday, Building Modular. And then we are back to our interviews on Wednesday. Can you imagine more interviews? Holy cow. Can you believe that we are almost at one year? One year, six days a week, maybe late on occasion, maybe some fuzzy video on occasion. It's live, everybody. It's live, and, and we're, we're mobile. I mean, look at the stuff that we are using here. Let me see if I can pick this up for you here. I don't know if everybody can see this. I mean, we got antennas. We got, whoop, oh, man, that hurt. We got stuff in cases. You know, there is so much going on here. I don't know if you can see it. And then there's other antennas on 25-foot poles. And this is all new stuff that we're working on. So no matter where are we at, we can provide you know our live streams now with that said remember you know with live and i know a couple of you are into live stream ashley i know you were doing your lives for for what you guys are up to the reality of it is you're there's so many parts in this right you got internet providers you got uh you got the hardware that you need to live stream then you have the platforms like linkedin youtube facebook twitch twitter you know all of them out there there's a lot of things that have to come together to actually bring content to you the audience it's just not turn it on and go with the phone it can be like we're doing today it can be but it's still not that easy because we're going to several several different places all right so where was i, I was hopping into wednesday and then i jumped off beer let's uh let's say hi to some more people here all right peter we said hey greg Udaldi's with us from twitch dave and jen great week i can't be I can't wait to be with all of you on March 22nd. March 22nd is going to be big, Greg. Big. We're putting rules around it, Greg. We got rules. I don't know. I don't know if the world's big enough for a platform with the, with all four of you guys and then ladies on. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a fun conversation. I'm really looking at bringing the collaboration together of several industries, modular, panelize the NAHB and others so it's going to be awesome so I'm looking forward to having you on as well Greg I think it's going to be a lot lot of fun and I'm looking forward uh, to being part of the uh, being part of the uh, building systems council's uh, subcommittee now yeah it's Greg I don't know if you know but uh, I'll be seeing you at the annual meetings now uh, I agreed to sit on the board and do all of that so I'm looking forward to it so super cool Washington DC where else? I think Dallas, a couple of the board meetings. So I'm, I'm really excited uh, to have a bigger part in helping our industry grow, helping our uh, trades uh, grow, helping our associates and all the people that support our industry, uh, no matter whether it's the National Association of Home Builders, World of Modular, MHBA, doesn't matter. Uh, we just need to keep talking and keep collaborating. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. We're going down the line here. What else we got? Peter Molnar Associates. Hmm. So we missed something up there, Peter. I'm not sure when you say it. So uh, looking clear this morning, he said, good morning. Uh, thank you, Peter. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Hey, listen, when you use the phone, it's always a good go-to. Uh, it gets a little bit harder with some of the other technology, but we're doing better and better each time. All right, Dave and Jen, great weeks. I can't believe you've got that already moving forward. Sorry, everybody. Oh, congrats on a year. That is solid. Hey, who was that? That's got to be my buddy, Ashley. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Yeah, Ashley. Ashley, you got to get that fixed. So, yeah, Ashley, I appreciate it. It is solid. Um, has its ups and downs, but, man, we're having a lot of fun with it. Uh, even today, we got a little bit of a late start trying to do things and set it up, but um, we're here. That's what matters, and we're going to stay here, and we're going to keep growing the conversation. Greg says ESPN wants you to swing by Bristol, Connecticut to show them your technology. Yeah, yeah, maybe they could teach me a thing or two. Uh, this is where a lot of that technology comes from. They're out streaming in the world. I'm working with a company out of Gainesville, Florida right now, and this is what they do. They set up uh, the networks. They also set up uh, the military. Uh, that case I showed you is a military grade case. It's used for traveling and going places. So yeah, I bet I bet ESPN could probably teach me a thing or two. So it's going to be great, great, great. And then of course Jennifer's always promote behind the scenes. Aaron Fruman from Uncommon Construction will be coming on. Yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, let's get back to uh, what we were talking about here. I think we got through uh, all the comments this morning. Going to keep going on. Let's 
any longer. That sun's look is going to be right there. I'm not going to be able to sit back. I'm going to get sunburned. I know. Poor me. Sunburn, sunburn, summer. Okay. Moving, 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 moving on. All right. So we talked about Aaron from when we talked about Tuesday building modular. Let's talk about element fives in the house on Wednesday. Mass timber. We are talking about mass, 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 mass timber. Beautiful stuff. Element five. Patrick Chenard. Mass timber will be on. And as Greg said, we are teeing up the special roundtable events March 22nd. So another big week, everybody. There's so much happening. There is so much happening. I cannot, cannot wait. So on March 22nd, I'm glad Jen's putting some notes in here. Let's, let's put some things up here. So we are going to be introducing to this conversation, Greg, Brittany Campbell Turner, along with Jerry, Greg, Henry, and of course me. Anybody know who Brittany Campbell is? Well, guess what? She was referred to, to us by Tim Sims from Johns Burns Real Estate. Uh, wicked smart, has her own podcast, understands uh, the housing market. has been involved in it. Uh, has a very younger, young. when I say younger, she's younger than all of us, I think. Um, at, least, at least she looks like. And, and I have to tell you, I, I, it's going gonna, it's gonna to throw a dynamic into our conversation that I think is wonderful. And I'm really looking forward to having, uh, having Brittany on. So uh, Brittany's built environment integrator, blockchain advocate, and a lean enthusiast. We got it, man. We got to do it. We're going to have a fun conversation on the 22nd. What else you got in here? Oh, yeah. She's got to promote Jerry and Greg and Henry, global volumetric self-proclaimed guru he really is though henry mickford's got it going on a lot of fun to have on the show all right everybody so listen that is the week coming up this past week was amazing uh the following week uh, starting off the 22nd is going to be a huge conversation we got jerry mccahey on next friday as well so jerry's going to have back-to-back shows with us which i think is good jerry uh has a lot of energy uh, we're going to be talking about building science with Jerry, but then we're going to also be talking about Monday, the mass adoption of offsite, why it has or has not taken off. And we're going to ask some other questions too. So join us Monday. If it's not on your calendar, Monday, the 22nd, let me go up here and find where it is on my little banner thing. Monday, the 22nd, the round table is on. We're going to have fun with it. It's going to be one of the first of its kind. Yes. One of the first of its kind on our show. We're going to continue to do these roundtables. We're going to continue to have real conversation about our industry. As I've been saying, enough. We're tired of being in last place. I want to be in first place as an industry. That is going to be our goal. We are going to come together. We are going to adopt modern methods of construction. You'll never do away with the trades and, and traditional site construction, but we can work together. We can solve the housing crisis. We can build better, healthier homes. So enough is enough. Let's move our industry forward. Let's be in first place. I don't want to be underneath agriculture's thumbprint of they're doing better than we are. We've got amazing people. We've got an amazing industry. We can do amazing things if we put our mind to it. So with that said, that's my push. That's my goal. No more being in last place. Let's at least move to first place because I don't like second. Nobody likes second, but I'll take second. In fact, I'll take third place. I'll take fourth place. But last place, no. No, 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 no. Let's come together. Let's move this industry forward. Let's unite all of our industries together, whether it's off-site, modern methods of construction, traditional site building, SIPs, panelized log, mass timber, concrete. Why can't we have a solid voice moving this industry forward so we can become number one? It's going to benefit all of us. And it'll also benefit the people that live in our homes. They're the ultimate benefactor. Yes, the rest of us can be out there doing our thing, building things, employing uh, team members and and all those things. But why do we really do it? We provide shelter, whether it's in a workspace or whether it's in a house. We provide shelter every single day for people. Uh, we just are not doing enough of it fast enough and affordable enough. Now's the time to do it. All right. That's it. That's my show. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I see one more comment in here. Uh, Jennifer wrote, Brittany Campbell Turner will rock it on Dave Cooper Live on Monday, 322. Get ready, Jerry. Greg and Henry. Oh, she called him Gerard. Gerard. 
And everybody, just so you know, with uh, with Jerry, it's Makahi. I used to say McCoffee. He called me out on it. I'd say McCoffee. He called me out on it. And finally, he taught me. He goes, you gotta go, Makahi. I love it. Oh, hey, and a big congratulations to Mod Logic, Axis Construction. Uh, took a best in show at World of Modular. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to share some stuff. We were down there. We were on location. Our video, our marketing, our interviews that we did at the biggest modular event in our country, if maybe not the world, took best in show. And we had a part to do in it. Small part compared to Jim Gabriel, John Bongiorno. Bongiorno, he corrected me on his name as well. We had a big part in it. So uh, we won some awards. I think that's just super, super cool. And we're going to keep growing these industries forward. So congratulations to Team Axis and Team Mod Logic. You guys are phenomenal. I really appreciate it. And it was so exciting to see that uh, message that we won the award and our video uh, won some of the marketing awards that we did uh, in collaboration with you with all of our interviews. 11 weeks they built that hospital. 11 weeks. We can't even do a single family home in 11 weeks. We built an entire pediatric edition in 11 weeks. And I say we because I feel like I had some part in celebrating it and bringing light to it. And I hope that other people look at it. All right, everybody. That's the end of our show today. Uh, we will see you on Monday, Monday, Monday at 1 p.m. My name's Dave Cooper. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. I hope everybody enjoys their coffee this morning. I hope you enjoyed your coffee with Dave this morning. I know I enjoyed it. I thank you very much. Have a beautiful weekend. Put on your sunscreen if you're down in Florida. That's what I'm going to do. Bye, everybody.